It's a few days upon school resumption and as parents drop their children in the schools across the country, one thing that comes to mind is the insecurity situation across the country, especially in Abuja. At this public school right here at Wusa Zone 2, um, GSS School, we realize that the gates are actually open and not so much can be said about the security apparatus being put in place to safeguard the students and teachers in the school. Grandeur Ukbong and Angel James are junior secondary school students who are worried about the likely breach of security that can occur in their school due to how porous it is. I'm scared to return to school because of the insecurity because the everywhere is full with bad and kidnappers so um, even though I'm living near here I'm still scared because I'm not sure I'm protected around yet. While they are in fear over insecurity, their counterparts in some private schools say they are being armed with security tips. Insecurity is not an issue over here. We are fully protected in every means possible. We don't have any issue from security that we are fully comfortable in this environment. Parents are meant to sign in when they come and sign out when they are coming to pick us up. So we are fully secured in this environment. Well, we've been taught that we shouldn't do anything that will be able to put us in danger. We shouldn't talk to strangers. We shouldn't follow strangers. And we're in a very protected environment. So I don't think anything bad will be able to happen to us here. The school has taught us that we should stay in our classes and also we always be supervised by the teachers. If we are not supervised by the teachers, we must be taken by one of anybody around so that we will be safe. And I think this place is a very good environment, not bad. There are so many security guards everywhere and the doors are locked everywhere and it's safe. School administrators say ahead of the new term, more security measures have been intensified and security surveillance cameras installed. We have equipped our school with high-tech, you know, uh, state-of-the-art CCTV uh, surveillance all over. Uh, we have uh, experienced security personnel that are on ground 24-7. Um, we have teachers that have been trained. Um, you know, students are never left alone. At any time, we have eyes that are watching them every corner of our, our premises. So, and we also have pro processes and procedures in place that ensure safety while on our premises, not just from external threats, but also, you know, to ensure the safety of the students while they are here. We have security at the gate. At a certain time in the morning, the, the gate is locked. People cannot get in here unless they have an invitation. This teacher tells us more. School management put in some security measures in place like training teachers and security. For instance, we have our muster points now. We know where to gather when there's an emergency, aside from fire, but also security um, uh, issues or occurrences that might occur. And for our borders, uh, we also make sure that uh, they've gone through uh, some training in terms of fire drills. Again, they know where to muster in case of an emergency. We also put in place, uh, we have the police come in at least three times in a week to do a security sweep. With kidnapping, hostage taking and banditry in parts of the country, experts in the education sector have continued to demand for more provision of security gadgets and protection of both public and private schools to safeguard lives and property. Mary Chinda, Arise News.